One of the biggest summer events in the area, and it begins next week. It's the 59th annual Ann Arbor Art Fairs, plural. Together, this is the largest juried art fair in the country, and navigating it can be a challenge because there's booths in every direction and down side streets and here and there, but there is something new this year, and we have Meredith Bruckner, the community news producer at allaboutannarbor.com, back with us to show us how we can get the most enjoyment out of this event. So as I said, not just one art fair. Oh, yeah multiple there's four fairs okay. and that's what people might not realize is because they are all rolled into one it's mm -hmm. pretty seamless so you can't tell which fair you're necessarily at at any given moment but some are on university of michigan's campus um, some are in downtown ann arbor so uh, it, it's huge around 300,000 people come to this event every year to check it out and uh, each fair is a completely different organization they have a completely different selection process on who they choose to feature and what to expect next week thursday through sunday uh, over a thousand artists will be Showing, um, will be selling rather their items. So this ranges from, as you can see, paintings to jewelry to pottery, photography. There's really um, something for everyone. If you can imagine it, it's probably going to be there. Uh, so besides the art fair, um, you know, there's going to be three live stages for music, um, activities for children. And what I'm really looking forward to this year is the first time Ann Arbor Distilling Company um, is going to be having a pop-up spirits garden. So if you want to take a break, rest your feet, get escape the heat, you can have a nice locally sourced cocktail. All right, and you have two special guests that you brought with you this morning. Yes, yes, we have Hattie Yang. Um, you are a pottery artist. We see your beautiful works here. And Maureen Riley, she's the executive director of the Ann Arbor Street Art Fair, the original. Did I get that right? Okay. <laughs> so, so yeah, so, so you're here with your, your gorgeous pottery. Thank Hattie, you. tell us about what goes into creating this. Yeah, so everything, I brought a little bit of everything. Um, all my pieces are handmade on the wheel, and then the primary technique that I use is called bubble glazing. Um, I just use a little bit of dish soap and glaze, and I blow with a straw, and so when those bubbles pop against the piece, they leave just a little bit of that outline there to kind of mimic the veining in marble. So. And this here, Kevin, can you get a, I'm sorry, I, you know you've already gone past it, but can you get a close-up on this uh, ribboning here? How, how do you achieve this? So that's um, a texture called chattering, and it's just basically friction that's used with a trimming tool, and it just kind of digs little gashes into the piece, and it creates that kind of patterned texture. So. It's gorgeous. Thank but you. How long does it take you to achieve something like this? Uh, it depends on the piece. There's a lot of time in between waiting you know, for things to dry or to get fired in the kiln, but on average, I, the hands-on time I spend is about 40, 50 minutes per piece so and just as a reference point if I were to want to acquire one of these how much would I be looking at spending um, I have a pretty big range I from like 10 to three hundred dollars okay. about so it's friendly for everyone <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Maureen the the new way of getting around uh, you know in the years past you just kind of oh I'll just go down this street or I'll go down here what's what's up with that well we've worked with the city of Ann Arbor to come up with a numbering system that places um, all of the booths in the same um, sort of numbering parameter as streets and buildings and houses. The only difference is, is that each of the booths now has a two-letter prefix that identifies what street they're on. So in Hetty's case, she's on East Washington, so her booth number is WA814. Okay. Um, so. Main Street is MN, Liberty is LI, and then the numbers correspond, uh, correspond with the building numbers. Excellent. All right. Uh, we have a special web page devoted to all that's happening in Ann Arbor at the Art Fairs. Check it out at allaboutannarbor.com, which is made possible by our friends at Wallside Windows and Concordia University. And when you're there, click on Ann Arbor Art Fair. And Meredith Bruckner, you can follow her on social media. She is like your point person for <laughs> allaboutannarbor.com. Yes, I try. High five for that. All right, ladies, thank you for being here. Thank, thank you. you. We'll leave all this. We'll decorate the set. It'll be awesome.